Mm, happy Halloween, folks. Today we're going to read The Little Ghost. Let's look at him there. Spooky. He's got his little trick or treat. He's got a bag and a pumpkin head. That, that kid's out for candy. Let's see what he does. Set his pumpkin down and boo! What? He's trying to scare the little girl. Looks like the cat in the flower there is kind of interested in a little butterfly. Boo! That's not scary, Joey. I'm a ghost. Come on. I know you want to scare me, but it won't work. The cat's going to get that butterfly. Uh-oh, someone else. What about me? I'm the devil. No way. How come? These old dogs looking kind of feisty over in the left there. And that cat. Ah, oh, he missed the butterfly, poor guy. Everybody's afraid of the devil. Not me. How come? Because Jesus loves me, and the devil is afraid of Jesus. And it looks like that dog is eating the devil's tail. Oh, that's... And the cat is climbing the ghost. Who's Jesus? Jesus is God, and he loves all the little kids. Red and yellow, black and white, they're all precious in his sight. That's nice. I, I do like that. That's nice. Jesus loves the little children of the world. But the devil hates us. And uh, he's dropping his devil mask, and the dog is... Oh, look, and the cat's climbing the ghost. Very cute stuff there. And Jesus came from heaven to save us from the devil. There's a dog tearing into that devil mask. Jesus had to do something for us. It was awful, but he did it because he loves us. Wow, what did he do? What the hell? Did that guy have a mouse in his... Look at that. That was a mouse. He had a mouse in his pumpkin. That is not a very nice trick-or-treat item. Someone was naughty. And the dog has torn up the devil mask, and now the cat's after the dog, which I think they might be anti-cat. Cats would not be mad at a dog for tearing up a devil mask. He came here to die for all the naughty things we've done. <laughs> well, I think naughty, I don't really think sins. Um, <laughs> he died? Uh, John 3.16 for God. Da -da, we know that. Yes, God calls all the bad things we do sin. Not really some specific things that were sins. But I guess every bad... I mean... Okay. So Jesus allowed mean people to hurt him and put him on a cross. And the devil laughed. Huh. Why did Jesus do that? Because the only thing that could wash away our sins was his blood. Mm -hmm. And Jesus is God. The devil was happy to see him die. Three days later, the devil almost went crazy. Do you know what happened? Do you? Now, so far I have no problem with this, although I do see a lot of people who martyr themselves this day and age. I think it's ridiculous where they feel someone is being picked on, so they'll say, don't pick on her, pick on me instead. It's done on YouTube a lot. I guess that it's a Jesus complex, perhaps, but so far I like this story. It's a nice, pleasant story. Um, I mean, the Jesus being a martyr, dying for our sins, I don't, I don't get it. But, uh, I mean, I don't think the message is you should do that as well. The message is that you should thank him for doing that, which is pleasant. Um, went crazy. Do you know what happened? 
Jesus got out of the grave and was alive. Because, yeah, the message here is that if you martyr yourself, you'll be fine in the end. In fact, you won't be. You really won't be. If you decide to, to get a beating for someone else, you're going to get a beating. And you're not going to be fine. So uh, he beat the grave and the devil. So don't martyr yourself. That's, that's definitely not the message that I am getting from this. And if you get it from this, you're weird. Um, the devil was furious because now children could get away from him. Jesus asked the children to love him for what he did. And if they believe he died for their sins, they could go to heaven. And guess what? Guess what? The devil didn't want to tell you me to tell you that story. Because if you give your lives and hearts to Jesus, Jesus will love you and watch over you forever. Do you want to follow Jesus or the devil? He said, Jesus! And the dog's looking interested, and the cat's MIA. Where'd that cat go? I like the cat better. Oh, we got the cat in the next frame, so we're excited. Then pray with me and make the devil mad and make Jesus glad. And they pray, Dear Jesus, please forgive us. Come into our hearts. We thank you for dying for our sins. We love you, Lord. We give ourselves to you. And look, even the cat's down praying. What a sweet looking little kitty and stinky dog. Hey guys, God did all that for us. Isn't that a wonderful story? Give your heart to Jesus so he can save you and take you to heaven too. And then there's their regular what to do, how to pray, how to buy more of these books. Um... I have no issue with this one. None at all. I think that's a pleasant story. Um, I Some people misinterpret it. Misinterpret that Jesus is a martyr thing. I've seen that many times where people will say, uh, you know, if you need to pick on someone, pick on me. I will take your slings and arrows. And in the end, they're just crying. <laughs> It, it, it's not the same. They don't come out of the grave like Jesus. Like, hey, nothing happened. Because they're not Jesus. And it affects them. That's a thing that happens. You may have seen it. I've seen it a lot. Other than that, I mean, which is people just misinterpreting that. And I don't even think this story, um, this comic, tells you to misinterpret it that way. It's just something I've seen. This comic's pleasant. Um, and my whole point, I would like to say, my point in presenting these chick tracks and others is to say that anything can be told in comic form. Comics are not for kids. They are for people. Um, if you want to tell whatever story, whatever message you want to tell, put it in comic form. It's as valid as any other form. And that's a message I'd like to get out there just for myself because I see a lot of people who get upset when they see things like the current Joker movie and they're upset that it's a comic book movie that's rated R well it's a rated R subject about a character that's rated R um, just because it's comic book or just because it's animated or just because or just because does not mean it's only for kids these people certainly were not thinking these are only for kids. This story may have been only for kids. But there's other stories about abortion and... Uh, oh, all kinds of adult subjects that will be seen. They weren't guiding them towards... They were guiding them towards everybody. And that, to me, is why I, I choose some of these. And why I... I like to tell different types of comic stories. From adult to kid level everything and tell people and comics aren't for kids they're for people it's a, just a, a a medium of storytelling but anyways I like this one I really did I thought this was pleasant alright thanks folks enjoy <laughs>